Hello everyone, we are back. Um, well, Mike had to leave, uh, and so he. That's gonna be a pretty interesting video. Obviously, those videos are already out by the time you're watching this. But um, what we are doing now, well, I'm doing, like we, as me and my dog Onyx, as opposed to even the supercharger here. And we are going to have it go out. Um, there we go. Um, I'm going to disengage to tell it not to go to Waffle House. Okay. I had to press the accelerator to get to go. And we're going to disengage here. Yeah, and it shouldn't be going to Waffle House. But we're going to go back to back roads and back through uh, Mills River and back through uh, to my parents and then we're going to go back this second route. I think there's a moped there and there's not. Interesting. Yeah, the guy from... Okay. So that was a disengagement already. Um, poor routing. Again, it saw that there was a left turn lane. The guy, I cut off the, this guy right here. So it would go, and it's not even letting me, there we go, re-enable it. Um, see how it goes through this intersection here. But uh, yeah, I was saying, going through Mills River is where we're going. And uh, we're gonna see how that does for us. It thinks it thinks their stroller is a motorcycle. That's kind of funny. They're pushing their kids on a motorcycle. Actually, up our speed here. So when this launches, hopefully it does launch. Um, um. Not full speed, of course. I'm gonna press the accelerator to get us to go on. Okay. I'm not gonna let it freak out that situation. For the amount of traffic here, I didn't want to deal with that type of situation. Again, that's just, um, it wasn't confident going through that intersection. You could, you could see the line just freaking out all over the place right there. So that's gonna be disengagement number two for this drive. And again, I consider that to be a routing issue. And it turns out path prediction for the car. That is the biggest issue I see with the car is that uh, it can't figure out where it's gonna route to. It should be slow and quicker going down this hill for this stoplight. Or slow and sooner, should I say. And it's speeding back up appropriately now that traffic's moving forward again. Okay, so again, this, this type of behavior is improved with version 10. It still could have slowed a little bit smoother. Because it should have looked up ahead and started already slowing down for the traffic that stopped. But it, it's definitely improved over the previous updates to where it won't just jam on the brakes once it sees traffic up ahead. There's the routing issue. And just in a snapshot of that. It sees it's a turn lane and it still tried to go around this car. I did this actually on 9.2 as well. And um, a previous update before that as well. I did that same thing in this area. I always you gotta keep a lookout for those things. Uh, that's why I really think that stuff needs to be targeted before this is a public release. Because a lot of people won't pay attention to that. They all just think it's like autopilot. And it's like, let go of the wheel at a stoplight, and all of a sudden the car just 
swings into another lane and hits another car. Um, you have to actually hold the steering wheel at a stoplight most times. Um, at least ones with a lane next to it, like that one. It will, it will do that currently, and that's, again, what I consider to be a routing issue, and one of the biggest issues holding us back from public release, in my opinion. thing I've just realized and I think this is improved over 9.2 I think 9.2 still had this issue you go around corners like that and there's oncoming traffic which I would call blind corner uh, it doesn't it doesn't pause anymore it doesn't like kind of like hesitate as it is it thinks the cars in the opposite lane or in my lane and it tries to break some 9.0 or 9.1 was terrible for that um, on the parkway it did that a lot um, and going around roads like this, it would still do it, just not as often. I don't know if I've noticed that yet with tin. Actually, I'll say that that car kind of had a he little bit of hesitancy there. Uh, it's it's better at, mi at bare minimum. It is better than the previous updates when it comes to that. It did break, start breaking at an appropriate time, though it braked a little bit too hard for my liking. Especially considering this truck is behind me. Um, it should not go right here. Now we can go. I'm gonna pr press it this, come on, I'm, okay, I'm gonna have to press it so this guy doesn't get ticked off behind me. I'm not accelerating right now, this is actually accelerating pretty fast. To be honest, for production, like, I, Rubber taxi, I don't think it should accelerate that quickly. And unless it's not confident that it can make it out on the road without a car coming. Like if it's a blind corner or something, then it should. But on a road like the, it's slowed for that car in front of me. Um, this truck's trying to pass me because he doesn't like like what I'm doing, which I completely understand. I think he looked over in my direction too, like, what are you doing, dude? Yeah, it's actually staying, uh, this is actually better. It should stay in this lane. Uh, it should have really changed lanes after the light instead. I'll give it because I've, I've run in this road. I'm gonna up, up the speed limit though, up the speed. Cause this is, on this road is one you really wanna be in the right lane unless you're going over the speed limit. Just because of the, the flow of traffic. Cause now the car on my right is passing me. So it needs to slow down quicker. Um, normally I would cross the double yellow right there. Um, normally traffic is backed up pretty far. So that when there's heavy traffic here, that will be an issue. Um, hands down. Let's see if I can zoom out. It's odd, I can't see that far back. Huh. I think they'd be able to see further back. But um, anyways, that it's just, there's normally traffic backed up past the entrance to this turn lane, and so it's gonna have to cross the double yellow to get into the turn lane. We have had a discussion and chat on my previous uh, video about how I had to cross the double yellow to get into the turn lane going into Target on the previous time. And personally, uh, did that very well. Personally, I think it should cross the double yo. Technically, it's against the law. Um, everyone does it. You can't tell me you haven't crossed the double yo line before um, to um, get where you need to go. So everyone does it. It just uh, when you should only do it when it's appropriate to do so. Ooh, that was good. This car started braking, and my car responded nope, almost immediately. And it should speed up a little bit sooner going as it turns off. But that was that was good. Right up here is going to be our left turn. I believe it failed the last time I came in this way. We're going to see if it see how it does this time. 
I think again it was a routing issue last time where it didn't get into the turn lane. We're gonna see what it does this time. All right, where this blue car is turning is where we're turning. Okay, it's slowing down. Turn the blinker on at appropriate time frame. And right into the turn lane. Excellent. Ooh, hard break. That was a hard break. Yeah, I should not have done that. I'm gonna just in case. I'm gonna do that. I think it failed coming in here too. Oh my god, it's not 50 mile an hour in this. <laughs> Again, okay. So it would have sped up to like 30 something and then slow it down. Honestly, 25 is almost too quick half the time. Just because there's usually a lot of people, especially kids, walking around here. Uh, if you're ever in this area, Mills River, North Carolina, this is an absolute fabulous park. Uh, I used to live closer. Of course, my parents were closer to here. I used to take my dog often here. They actually have EV chargers. So they have four chargers lined up here, and that's where I'm going. Let's see if it stops here. It has previously. Excellent. Um, so there's four chargers. It looks like I'm going to be the only one using it today. Uh, and we're going to disengage right here. In 500 feet, your destination will be on the right. And then we're going to charge. So everyone, that drive was good. I think, see, the, the mistake here was me believing Elon and when he said this was mind-blowing. Like, he also said 9.0 was mind-blowing. It's better. I mean, maybe the underlying principle that is using vision and no radar, that's, from a technical standpoint, that's pretty mind-blowing. That they proved everyone wrong that you don't need radar to drive. And it can slow down. That's pretty impressive. Like, when you're looking at the technical point of view, that's pretty mind-blowing. From the actual car driving compared to 8.2, I'm like, yeah, not so much. Same thing here. Maybe there's a technical underlying principle that I'm missing. And, um, so maybe, just maybe it... Oh, sorry, I thought I then wasn't recording. Uh, maybe. Um, that's what I'm missing, and that's what a lot of people are missing. It's like, don't get me wrong. It's incredible what the car is doing. But this is not a mind-blowing update, version over version. Now, for, four versions ago, like earlier this year to now, oh my goodness, yes. Yeah, drastic improvements. But from 9.2, no. This should have been 9.3. I I'd, I'd probably just, and usually when you have a large version step change in the versions... Um, normally there's a lot more going on on the changes. Not always, but usually there's something bigger going on. But, um, as always everyone, I appreciate you watching and following along. I appreciate the constructive feedback we're getting in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.